I still compete in, in a couple of different things in shooting in three gun matches, which is a lot of running and jumping and dancing and playing. Um, I fought this year in a, in a grappling super fight. Um, I'm about to do another jujitsu tournament. So I, I'm, I'm still in like the competition mode. And then as a soldier, you know, like I never want to be anything but first, um, especially now in leadership, leadership positions, everybody's going to look to me, not, not because I'm Tim Kennedy, but because I'm a leader. Uh, and even if you're, you know, a four man team leader, a cell leader, a squad, it doesn't matter what your role is. Like people are going to look at you as an example. Um, and if you're going to, if you're going to have that flag on your shoulder, sh shoulder, like it is, in my opinion, you have to be able to fit the mold of, of the Adonis shape, not only like physically, but mentally of, of your capability, right? Like I can run through this wall to save that person, or I can pick up these two people and I can run a mile with them to the medevac, whatever it is. Um, so my routine is, is pretty brutal. That was the preface to it. Um, you know, like I, I do a type two Pavel, uh, big power volume explosive workouts uh twice a week um i did cardio this morning so i did 72 minutes we did six minutes on the rower six minutes on the skier six minutes on the air dine and then we did a 18 minute imam and then we did six minutes six minutes six minutes and then another 18 minute imam with burpees uh body weight get-ups push-ups and sit-ups um and that was a cardio day, kept our heart rate at 75% for 72 minutes. Um, tomorrow, we're going to, it's almost like a, a football running back drills day. Um, so it's all fast twitch, explosive movement. And then um, jumps on Saturday. I'll take Sunday off. Monday will probably be like a 12 mile rock day. Wow. Yeah, that's that's uh above what the average person probably does in a week. <laughs> in a year. <laughs> intense. Very intense. hardcore, man. A little intense. I'll take like maybe one or two of those days. Those other other four, I'll let them go. That's <laughs> man. So like I uh I, I love this this idea of like there there is somewhere right now, as we're like having this super civil conversation, like there's somewhere, someone out there right now that is training to do harm to Americans. They're training like right now, like they're at the shooting range. Um, they're in the gym. They're like figuring out how to use a different ignition system for a pressure cooker bomb. You know, like they're, they're doing something about figuring out whether it's going to be the next Boston bombing and the next Pulse nightclub, or it's going to be, you know, the next active shooter or somebody driving, what, whatever it is. And like, what are you doing every day to be able to combat that? And then on a special forces ODA, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And, uh, you know, there's 12 dudes and the, they're, they're the most incredible humans on the planet. But like, if you're the weak, weak link in, in anything, in any category, physically, you know, mentally, um, educationally, it's uh, like you could get your whole entire team killed. Uh, or even worse, you could fail your mission and the people behind you have to pay the price. So like I take a like when it comes to training, I I take a, a, a somber, gross, violent approach to uh, to training. You know me and my team. That's awesome, right? Training and discipline, right? Be ready. Right. Amen. That's right, Chief. <laughs> <laughs>